In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to use action cards. And we're going to start by creating a variable of type service data provider. And this would hook up to a REST service that returns a list of popular actors. So we'll just pick it up here. And then we can, of course, choose which pieces of information about each one of the actors we want to have. Um, so we'll pick those up and click finish. So now we have basically an array of the data that we're going to show here. And we're going to show the array inside a for each component. Okay, and inside the for each component, we're going to use the new action card component like that. Now, if we'll set the for each component, we'll do it through the structure pane. If we'll set it to map to the SDP that we just defined, it would basically show you uh, the 20 records that are returned from the REST service. And we can now remove the class from the action card to make it look kind of um, default white, and then set the style for it. So for example, we can set the width and height for the action card over here um, to a specific size, like that. Then we want to show information about the actors. One thing we can show is their image. So let's use the avatar component that we can drag into the card over here and then resize it so it would occupy uh, the full, actually the full size of the card like that. And now we just need to bind the source of this avatar to point to the picture of the actor, which is information we get from the rest endpoint. And so we just need to adhere the path to the picture and click save. And there you go. You now have action cards that are bound to information coming from a REST service. Nice thing again, if you look at live, when you hover over those action cards, they pop up and there's a nice effect here. So the next thing you might want to do is define an action of what's going to happen when you're clicking on this action card. So we have this event over here. And over here, you can handle the event. What I'm going to show you here is that you can actually define another parameter to this event. I'm going to add the parameter of type object. We'll call it the actor parameter. And what I want to do is I want to pass into this one uh, the information I already have about the actor. So after I'll pass it in, I'll be able to show a notification with the name of the actor over here. Okay. So we'll take the actor object and refer to the name. Okay. And we'll do the same thing over here in the message. In fact, over here we can do it a little bit more detailed. Um, let's put in uh, this is and then um, connect it to the um, actor name. Sorry. So that should be from the input variable that we're getting over here. And again, this can be any of the properties that I'm going to pass in. And then the last thing that uh, is left to do is hook up the parameter that I'm getting into this action chain to the value that is in my page. So over here in the event mapping, I'm going to use the mapper to pick up the current actor that I'm looking into and pass it over here. And that's basically it. If we now switch to live mode, uh, we'll hover over the actors, we'll get a little pop-up effect. And then when we actually go and click on one of those actors, okay, we'll get a little message, information with the name of the actors showing up over here. So that's very quickly how you work with action cards.